Today we are going to take a look at the Jolteon from Prismatic Evolutions. We finally have a high resolution photo of that card. We're going to talk about some cards that I think are undervalued and we're going to talk about a few boxes and some cards that are kind of popping off right now. But we're going to start off with this Jolteon and I want to say a few things kind of about the set in general. Now when we get to see these in a higher resolution they look a lot better, right? They're starting to grow on me. Not that the the Umbreon was, I wasn't already just like, wow. But the more I was like, oh, the Jolteon's kind of basic, you know. And when compared to the Sword and Shield promos of the Jolteon, I will agree. But I, I really, it, it's coming around on me. And I think that that is going to be a common thing. It's going to be coming around on a lot of people. Especially, this is without like the shine on it. Once you see these cards in person, you're holding them in your hand. Things are going to these cards i'm going to be very very interested to see what kind of prices that even these the lesser evolutions are going to be and even just like the sir ev right so i'm i'm starting to get pretty excited not that i wasn't excited but it's just it's like ramping up and i feel like for me i haven't had that a ton this era where i'm starting to get more excited like to this level, uh, I think the last time for me it was probably probably 151, if I'm being completely honest. So, um, yeah, Gen One people, you know, um, but yeah, the Jolteon. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Let me know about this specific card where you would rank it as far as the evolutions, and yeah, it's just a it's a nice card. Uh, next up, we got the Charizard. All right, buckle up, guys. Here we go. I do this as often as I can. This is the Charizard V from Brilliant Stars. Now, it's finally gone on a little bit of a run again. And I say a little because I think that this card should be way more expensive. It's up 24% in the past three months. You could have had this for 127 back here. Now it's selling for around 159, 160. The one month chart shows 18% growth, but we'll zoom out to the one year. Now, this was the big alt art boom in May. Pretty much all the alt arts ran up and it ran up to almost 200. And I thought, no, oh, 200, you know, that's, that's a, that's maybe more of a fair price. And I thought it was going to run a little bit more. Well, it fell off really hard. A lot of the other alternate arts that had their big run up, usually when a card, and just when a card run, runs up quickly in general, when they retrace, they usually set a new, a higher low, right? And it, while it did, it went to 124 because before here it was 115, but it was 122 right here. So in my opinion, it kind of went back to where it was. Now, why am I bringing this card up? Well, one, just bring some attention to it, okay? It's it's going up in value. I mean, if you bought at this low right here, then you're, you're doing pretty decent. Not crazy dollar gains, but percentage-wise, not bad. I think that this card is the greatest Charizard artwork, in my opinion, that we've ever gotten. I know art is subjective, right? Uh, PSA 10s have been selling for 320, 330, 315, 305. Another thing, I I just, I don't, I don't understand how this card is so cheap. It should not be this cheap. And uh, I just, I, I'm just gonna, keep bringing it up as often as I can. We're just going to take a second just to look at the art. All right. I, everything about this card, I absolutely love. He's fighting the Venusaur. You've got the mountains, his, his tails right here. It's just, I don't know. And this like, these little, like, um, what would you call these? The little like sparks, sparks, embers, whatever they are, right. Coming off. Absolutely. Just the pose of, of him, everything about it. It just, it, it's doing everything I want it to do. And so that's why we're just gonna take a minute just to appreciate this. But like price wise, compared to the other alternate arts, I mean, like not that that Gengar from Fusion Strike isn't really nice and like the Giratina and you know, the Moonbrown's obviously doing its thing, but like the Blaziken, uh, I don't, I don't particularly like the Blaziken. I like this, I think is 10 times better. Maybe not 10 times, five times better. And I think that this should be a two to $300 raw card. And that's why I bring it up, but it's starting to move a little. So we'll see where it ends up. I'll keep you guys posted uh, if it continues to run, but I just think it should be 
two to three hundred raw, and I think in a ten it should be four to five hundred somewhere in that range. That's where I'd like to see it. Uh, just let me let me know in the comments. I know there's a few of you guys out there that agree with this. Uh, I bring it up a lot. Not a lot. I bring it up because I think it deserves some attention. That's all. Uh, the pop the pop count in a PSA ten is high, but it is not anywhere near as high as the the Moonbrion. Uh, Moonbrion's over like thirteen thousand tens, and you see what those are going for. So uh, it's possible. Just mind blowing to me. Also, I'm gonna hop back to this just for a second. This is a hundred and sixty dollars. The one fifty one Charizard. Well, that's cool. Artwork wise, I don't think it even compares at all, and that's more expensive than this, right? Come on, you know I'm right. All right, next up, <clears throat> this is the channel, and I bring this up to remind myself to let you guys know uh, to subscribe to the channel. And the reason I say that is because we're going to be doing a giveaway at 10k, uh, which is kind of it's we're starting to gain a little bit of traction. That's probably coming up quicker than you realize. So 10k, we're going to be doing a giveaway, three prizes. Surging Sparks Booster Box, Japanese 151 Box, and a PSA 10, probably let the winner pick. Somewhere around at least $100 values, kind of where I'm aiming there. So you will need to be subscribed, and then I'll post a dedicated video when we get a little bit closer on how exactly to enter, but you will need to be subscribed in order to enter, so there's your, uh, your chance there. Next up, we're just gonna take a look at Japanese. So this is like a, it's like a little bit of a test, and I'll talk about why. Uh, so TCG player. They finally added dedicated Japanese section, so that's why I'm bringing this up. And just also, these Japanese boxes, they're supposed to be getting a reprint in December, which we're getting pretty close to December, and we're going to talk about what that's going to do to the prices, but TCG finally has enough data on here to have a whole month. So we can look at this chart, it's up 5% on the past month, three month charts, and obviously not fully uh, filled out, but 88 bucks up into the 90, 96. If you're looking to pick up these boxes, just wait, right? Confirmed reprint for next month. I don't know when those will start trickling in. I don't know when that will start affecting the price, but don't be buying these right now when there's a reprint next month. If you're getting it for a Christmas gift or something, just wait. You should, I mean, I don't know when the, exactly in December when the reprint's supposed to come out, but you could save yourself some money. You could get maybe more boxes. I don't know how far that down this is going to go. So, We'll see. It depends. I, I think in all these different reprints, the waves they've printed different quantities. So we don't really know. Um, if I had to guess, maybe $60 range, 70, 60 range. I don't know. It, we, we don't know. It just depends. Uh, we have had these boxes, though, at one point go from like 200, a little over 200 down to, I mean, they were, I was picking up like low 50s. So um, I don't think this will be as big of a reprint or as big of a drop as that because it's already kind of low. But uh, yeah, so that's that's that. I just wanted to bring this up, and it's just nice to see on here a full chart, at least part of a full chart, right? Um, these have been selling on eBay, just to give you a little bit of reference. So they have TCG has market at 96 with most recent sale at 95. So on here we got 93, 93, 95. So fairly accurate, maybe a little bit higher than eBay. So nice to see uh, there. Next up, I'm gonna go on about one more card. Uh, well, I have more cards after this, but this Beedrill, this is from Astral Radiance. This is an alternate art. It is very hard to pull. I understand that it's not the most popular Pokemon, but I have this, I should have pulled it down. I have this in a PSA 10 over there on the wall. But this card absolutely pops. I think it's stunning. And, you know, this is maybe more of one of those cards. I, I brought it up in a past video talking about it. But this is on a 20% decline. It went from $28 down to 22 Okay. The one month chart is down 12%. Zoom out to the one year. It had a run up right here. Just the alt art boom. Same thing. Went up to 48 Now it's down to 22 Before it was even cheaper, right? The reason I bring this card up is this card is very affordable right now. If you're looking for a nice alternate art, especially if you like Gen 1, th this card really pops in person. I'm just bringing it up, just uh, you know, letting letting you guys know. This is a nice card. PSA 10s, we're gonna get to that in a second. If you just wanna get a really nice copy, pretty affordable, okay? 
I just, it's just one of those cards. I, I know. You can go to every set and we can look at the cheapest alt arts and the cheapest SIRs. And there's always cheap ones, right? I mean, like the, the Durant from Surging Sparks. I think it's like 18, 20 bucks, maybe a little bit over 20. Um, and that's really hard to pull one out of 960 packs. Just for me, the, the Durant ain't nothing compared to the speed drill. It's a really nice card. So I just wanted to bring it up again, let you guys know it's affordable, right? PSA 10 pricing here. So these are some auctions. Uh, this is a raw copy. So last sold right here. The auctions went kind of low, 53 bucks, 60 here, 63, 64. So the auctions are going lower. If you're looking at, yeah, all these are auctions, but some of the lowest listed by it now is I think are around like 75, 80 ish. Still, if you're looking for an alt art PSA 10 of what I think is a cool Pokemon, not my favorite, but I always liked Beedrill growing up. Um, yeah, just want to let you guys know. I'm not, I'm not selling anything. I'm not selling it. You go check my eBay. I ain't selling anything like that. I just want to let you guys know. All right. And then we got two more cards here. These are, I, I've talked about these cards before. And this is the Charizard from, this is the Lost Origin Trainer Gallery. Now, dollar wise, not very big gains. Percentage wise, pretty good. We talked about this. I know that these cards are easy to pull. I just thought they were undervalued. And we talked about how kind of Charizard, the cutesiness of it, and those cards don't usually do as well. But I really like this. I like the trainer. I like he's just chilling. It's a nice, it's, I don't know, just a nice card overall, right? But let's get to the numbers. This is up 62% in the past three months. That's a lot, 62%. In the past month, it's continuing to grow 44%. Zoom out to the one year. Looks like the one year low, you could have this for $2.60. I should have pulled up when I when I talked about this in a video. because so I picked up quite a few copies from TCG player, but 127% growth over the past year is pretty solid. It's it's just a cool card, right? There's a lot of cards in these sets that are like these easier to pull. Uh, the trainer gallery specific specifically, just kind of undervalued. They're just out there. But if you're looking for some nice cards for your collection, you know, just consider some of these, these trainer gallery cards just because you can pick them up super cheap. Even $7 is super cheap uh, comparatively to some of the other Charizard cards out there, right? And I think it has some nice art. so. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, last Solds is a little lower, 625, 585, 639, 723. So keep that in mind, uh, you know, it might come down a little bit off of this. This is a one year high, right? Then we have the Gengar, same set, Lost Origin, Trainer Gallery. I don't like this card as much. I like the Charizard more, but I do think that this is same thing, fun card, right? Pretty good gains on the one year chart, 134% up. It ran up previously to 585, which is, it looks like it's a little bit past that now. So past this, so it's at a new one year high, which is nice to see. Three months charts looking really solid though. 50% gains and 25% in the past month alone. Same thing, I picked up uh, a few copies of this too, uh, back when I made that, uh, I addressed these cards. So uh, it's nice, it's nice to see them getting some gains there. The, you know, lesser cards, like I said, you're not making tons of money, but it just makes me feel good knowing, oh, I bought this card and it's doing well, right? And I have some copies. So yeah, it's just, just nice. So um, yeah, it's just kind of pointing those out. Um, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one. Just kind of to summarize, I just was kind of grabbing a little bit of this little bat. So we got the Jolteon. We got the Jolteon from Prismatic. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's a nice card. The set as a whole is growing on me. The evolutions as a whole are growing on me. The Umbreon is going to be crazy. Um, prices are going to be wild. If I was thinking about this a little bit, like yesterday, if I pulled that new Umbreon, would I sell it? What would it take for me to sell it? And, you know, that's a tough question, especially if I pulled it early and graded it and got a 10. It'd be hard, it'd be really hard to not sell it because we saw the Pikachu early on, the PSA 10s from Surging, doing like $3,000, $2,000 range. This card potentially will do that at pre-release or release prices in a 10. The first ones will, it could go higher. So that's kind of wild to think about. I think it'd have to be, oh, I don't know. It's one of those cards where it could, depending on pull rates, it could really continue to rise in value. I mean, look at what the Moonbreon's done. And so I might be kicking myself. I don't know. I think I'd have to wait. I'd have to assess the market. 
if I pulled it. But um, so then we, we had that. We had the Charizard V from Brilliant Stars, right? I did my I did my rant. I'm not going to go into that too deep anymore. We touched a little bit on Japanese 151 boxes and the B drill. Okay, I'll bring up the B drill just again for a second. Um, that's a really nice card. That's all. Just that's a nice card. Um, and then the Charizard and the Gengar. Um, there's a lot uh, other. There's a lot more other trainer gallery cards that are kind of in that thing that I actually really like a lot. There's, I, I, as I was pulling some of these out for this list today, I was looking and there were some other cards where I go, dang, I really like those cards. They're, uh, they're really cheap. And where I'm going with this is just let me know in the comments if you want me to do more trainer gallery, uh, cheaper cards that I think are nice. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Cause if not, I won't really do it. Just, just, you know, let me know what you guys want. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never face.